In the beginning, we could see Zainab is tired, overworked at home, and underappreciated by her husband and daughter. Receiving no support from her family after her mother's death, Zainab decides she needs some time to herself. She runs away to a Croatian island, the birthplace of her mother and the destination of a house she left Zainab in her will. There, Zainab discovers the house is already occupied by its previous owner, Yosef. Sparks fly between them even while Zainab and Yosef butt heads over Zainab's desire to turn his childhood home into an Airbnb. Everything seems to be working against a romance between the two, their clashing ideals and Zainab's family back home. But Yosef could be exactly whom Zainab needs in her life. The chemistry between Zainab and Yosef is instant. It was a hate-to-love story of cutting banter and harsh scoldings. Most of Far Away, after some establishing scenes of Zainab's unhappiness at home, focuses on the steadily building relationship between the two. And unsurprisingly, the rom-com shines its brightest when centering the romance and comedy that follows the couple. It's the reappearance of Zainab's family drama that scrambles the plot. Although some heartwarming moments slightly redeem the uneven storyline, the last few scenes of the film make it a little less Zainab's story. She's able to reclaim it, at least, taking away from her journey that sometimes it's okay to be a little selfish. And although the ending leaves us in a lurch, with more questions than answers about where Zainab is going to end up we at least know she'll do what's right for herself, and that's satisfying in its own right.